Rockwell Automation's 1771 to 1756 I.O. conversion system will help your migration reduce downtime and minimize wiring errors. Traditionally, rewiring your I.O. can be time and labor intensive and susceptible to wiring errors. But with the 1771 to 1756 I.O. field wiring conversion system, the time and risk are minimized. Let's compare the conversion system method with the conventional hardware changeout. In both cases, we remove the power supply. Here we are showing them at double speed. Now we watch as they remove the swing arms. This is the same for both the conversion system and the conventional methods. Then they remove the chassis. Now the similarity ends. Let's examine the differences. With the conversion system, the amount of conversion base plate. Notice that no drilling is required. They use the existing holes. With the conventional method, they'll have to drill new holes. So first, they tape off everything to make sure that the filings don't cause any problems. And then they can mark and drill the holes. On the conversion system side, they are now installing conversion modules. These will allow them to use the existing 1771 wired swing arms. Just snap them in and you are on to the next step. On the right, they are still drilling. With the conversion system, they just take the 1771 wired swing arms and push each into its associated adapter. The great thing is, they don't have to touch or change any of the terminal connections. Meanwhile, on the conventional side, they are still drilling those holes. The conversion system is finishing up the reuse of the existing wiring. Meanwhile, the conventional side is finally finishing drilling those holes. The conversion side now secures the mounting plate. The conventional starts to mount the chassis. Now the conversion system is mounting the ControlLogix chassis to the cover plate. Notice that all the holes were pre-drilled. Conventional now starts the rewiring of the swing arm, starting with the new wire labels. On the left, Conversion connects one of the pre-wired cables to the conversion module and plugs the other end into the corresponding 1756 I.O. module and continues to do this for all eight I.O. modules. With the conversion system, the I.O. migration on the left is done. The chassis is mounted and all eight I.O. modules are wired. On the conventional side, they are not done. So let's speed it up to see how long this will take. Let's go to 40 times the speed. They sure are quick at wiring, but still far behind using the conversion system offered by Rockwell Automation. Looks like they are finally finished. Wait, they only got one I.O. module rewired. That means there are seven more to go to make this comparison the same. The time to do the first module conventionally was over 27 minutes. So add in the next seven modules, and the total time to do all the I.O. is 2 hours, 24 minutes, and 41 seconds. Quite a difference. 
But let's not forget the other big advantage besides the inherent downtime and labor savings, the chance of a wiring error being significantly reduced. So now you see the difference. The 1771 to 1756 conversion system helps you reduce downtime and minimize wiring errors.